Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Mertz with Gearhead Tour. We're out here in Louisville, Kentucky, home of the Kentucky Derby, but today we're going to be checking out a different kind of horsepower. We're bringing you Cars and Coffee Coast to Coast. <laughs> I'm here with the organizer of the Louisville Cars and Coffee, Bill Green. How long have y'all been doing this? Tell us a little bit about the event. Well, our our group on uh, Facebook is Exotic Cars and Coffee. So we uh, we try to get together groups of people that just enjoy cars, car enthusiasts. You can have a old car, new car, exotic car, muscle car, obviously, pretty much anything. Uh, but I typically cater to the exotic cars. We help them get service and pretty much anything that they need in the area. We help them source, uh, you know, whatever they need. How many cars are typically out here on any given day? Well, we typically do the event the fourth Saturday each month, so we may have a couple of hundred to closer to a thousand plus. Wow. It just depends on where we're, or where our location is, and what the weather looks like, and you just never know. We've been doing it for about five years, and we've gone to a couple of different locations, and it's turned out really well. Just a great community benefit, you know, for everybody just to come hang out. Yeah, and we're at Cox Park today. Is this the first time you all have held it here? We've been at Cox Park a few times, and with COVID-related stuff going on, this was a great open area, you know, where there's lots of open air, not too many people in too tight of a space, so we kind of spread out here for about a quarter mile uh, with, that, with just all the cars. Uh, the sponsor this time was Momentum uh, Garage, like they've got a do-it-yourself garage downtown where he's a small business, and we try to help out, you know, the small businesses that do coffee, like Fonte's Coffee here in Louisville, or, you know, other people that just want to be involved with the cars, and they've got a business, or they've got a job, or whatever, you know, we just love to bring people together and help them, you know, meet each Absolutely. Well, we're glad that the rain held off today. Thank you so much, Bill, once again for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. All right, guys, I'm here with Roman. This is Countach behind us. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it's a 1988 and a half Lamborghini Countach Quattro Valve. I've had it since 2006. About 455 horsepower, factory fuel injection, uh, white on white. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Do you take it out often? I do. Yeah, I try to get it out um, or they fall apart. <laughs> nice. Um, do you? Is this your first Cars and Coffee? Is that what you said? Uh, no, no. I've come out. I, I know the organizer pretty well. Okay. I also I also run LamboPower.com. Hey, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> so. Uh, what, you got any questions? Um, yeah, I mean, other than the fact that I remember this being a poster on my brother's wall, this is the first time I've ever seen one in person, and it's pretty awesome. Most, most photographed car of all time. Yep. Oh, didn't know that. Fun fact. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Roman. Thank you. Kedrick, this is his Subaru STI behind us. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Um, you want to show us a little bit about your car? Yeah, this is a 2009 STI EJ257, fully built internals, uh, bigger turbo, E85, bigger fuel pump, rated fuel lines, cage in the back, bigger wheels, 18 by 10 and a half, Fox T37s Mark IIs, of course. My favorite JDM wheels. <laughs> I waited at least four months for those things. Um, wait. Yes. Ferris front, mar front bumper, aftermarket. Um, wide body AT auto, fender flares, basically everything. The only thing that's stock on this car is CV axles and drive shaft because those things are good about to 800 wheel. So. All right, you got to take us around back really quick and show us the license plate because that's definitely what caught our attention when we walked by. All right, tell us about this license plate. Well, I got this license plate because uh, I'm Asian, of course, and my mom's a very, very, when it comes to mass pandemics and being an Asian mom, it gets a little bit too out of hand. So I was like, I have a Japanese car, I'm an Asian driver in Indiana, I thought it would just be perfect to have a coronavirus plane, so. It's pretty hilarious. I don't know if it's too soon, but we like a good joke. <laughs> Thanks, Kedrick. Yeah, thank you.
We're here with Justin here at Cars and Coffee. You having a good time? Oh, heck yeah, it's a great day. We're usually here every time they've got it. It's a great, it's a great show. Yeah, it's great. It's my first time. I'm having an awesome time. We've got your SS behind us. Do you mind telling us a little bit about it? No, no problem. Uh, so it's a Chevy SS. Um, there's a, the community's kind of divided on if you should go back to the Holden badges on it. So it's made in Australia, the six in the VIN. So we went ahead and put the Chevy bow tie, or took the Chevy bow ties out, went back to the Holden emblems. So it gets a lot of, a lot of sideways looks. They don't know if it's a, a Pugo or some Vauxhall or something. So it's always good to talk to them. You can kind of explain what it is. It gets people in asking questions, which is always fun um, to explain what's going on. But this one's a 2015. Uh, they made them from 14 to 17. They're actually, the Holden plant closed down this year, so they won't produce these anymore. Stuff that's done to it. So on the 15, they went to uh, Brembo's all around. You've got Brembo's in the back, Brembo's in the front. The car actually has mag ride suspension, uh, which is great. It's an LS3. This one doesn't have anything internally done, but it's got a rotor fab intake, Cook's long tube headers all the way back, stock axle backs. Um, it's been here tuned locally by Dynasty, put down uh, 412 to the rear tire with just the minimal mods. Future plans for it, there's a BTR Stage 2 cam in the trunk, we're just waiting for time to get that done. It's funny, I was a Ford guy my whole life, I've had Mustangs, I've had the Cobra, I had a Whippled Cobra that was a blast. Um, you know, as you get older, you get married, have kids, now we need a, a four-door car, so I was like, well, what kind of four-door car can I get that's going to haul up the, the family around? And uh, I was between this and the CTSV. and. CTSBs are kind of out of my reach, so I think you made the right choice. So it still <laughs> it's looks real awesome. Cool, real yeah. cool sleeper. Um, the front, the hood is a it's a carbon fiber hood yeah, underneath, cool. but it's got some age to it. Uh, so we went ahead and wrapped it. LAS here in Louisville did the work. Just get it in every day and drive it. I drive this thing 80 miles round trip to Fort Knox every day, and I've got no issue. Put it in cruise and crank the tune, and I'm good to go. Well, it looks awesome. You did a great job with it, Justin. Thanks for stopping and talking to us. No problem. My hometown of Louisville, Kentucky did not disappoint. That'll do it for another episode of Cars and Coffee Coast to Coast. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you can get notified when we post new content. For Gearhead Tour, I'm Amanda Mertz.